Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about Home Assistant, ESP Home, and our eight-channel electromagnetic relay board. And it has Wi-Fi module here. Okay, so we will try to reconfigure this board with you to Home Assistant. Let me show you first how our devices is working in Home Assistant. Okay, now all the relays are off. And as you see, I can easily turn on. Let me turn off number two. Number seven, no, on. Number eight is on. Okay, this is how it is working. So in order to redo everything, what I'm going to do, I will remove my device. Let me go to the device. Okay, so here my ESP home. Okay, let me see where can I find removing, removing option. Let me go here. Okay, delete. I will delete my device. Okay, device is deleting, deleted. ESP home. Let me before before I delete this, I want to copy all of them. Okay, I just want to write all of them into the my notepad file. Okay, all of them are here. Cool. So let me go back to the ESP home. I, I need to close from here, then delete. All right, it is done. Okay, now we are going to redo everything. So first of all, you need to have ESP home here. Then you can, uh, you can add this menu here yourself. You can search on the internet. There are many articles and videos available. So then we are going to hit new device continue now ESP home wants us to add a name here give a name let's create this one new because I created many before I want to make this one new 8 channel EMR Wi-Fi okay each ch channel EMR Wi-Fi next now system is asking me what kind of chip I am using this is ESP8266. Okay, now then system give me the encrypted key. I copied that. I just okay, then skip. Then I'm going to go to the edit here. Currently it says offline. Alright. So what I copy it already, but this is the same here. I can copy from here. It is starting with the uh, letter G and 9D with the equal. So let me open my notepad again. Go to the encrypted encryption key entities here. I pass that one. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure starting with the capital G and ending with the 9D and equal. Okay, I'm going to copy all of them. All right, so then I will delete all, then change name to the same thing here. All right, cool, it is done. Now I will hit save button. Let me close this to not confuse. Install. There are many options available to install our coding into the this board but i'm going to select plug into the this computer currently this board is supporting type c i plug already uh, this board to the my usb hub so i will select this option now it is preparing my um, bin file which is bin file this process is going to take maybe a couple minutes, like until five, up to up to five minutes maybe. But I would like to talk about 
uh, while it is running, I would like to talk about our board's other feature. So again, this is type C plugin. It might be different for the other versions of our board. And we have also power in option. If you want to use, if you want to use external power to control this board, you have two options here. One of them is for this kind of plugs. Okay, you can you can plug in this here, or you can uh, you can screw your cables also here. Also, the other feature of this board, it is I2C capable. Okay, let me show you our uh, YAM file again. Here, look. Okay, this is the type of chip we used in this board, which is here, and this is the address of the uh, this is the address of the chip. What I am trying to say also, with this I2C address, you can control this board with in your existing ITC communication all right so and also those are electromagnetic relays here you can control if you for example the um, the device you want to control if it is running AC or DC doesn't matter you can control okay so let me see again what is the status it is still running uh, as i said this is going to take a couple minutes uh, and let me stop the video here then i will start again when it is done okay uh, the file is ready now next step is we are going to click here to download all right it is downloaded already now i will open this file I will get the copy of pad that file which I downloaded now I copy it already in my clipboard now I will click this connect button okay now this is the com port com4 currently my device is connected now I will select this hit connect then install then select the file I downloaded Okay, now I am going to just hit install button. Okay, it successfully find my devices. Erase the previous configuration on my board. Whatever the configuration we, we had, it deleted everything. Now installing our changes back to the our ESP chip. This is much quicker than previous progress. It is almost done. Okay, cool. <clears throat> now, let me close this tab. Close here, then go, go back to the ESP home again. Okay, now it says offline. As you see, it, it is online back. Let's go to the settings. Uh, and we have a notification here so okay this is different notification I think let's go to the devices and it says configure here submit now system wants us to write the encryption key okay submit cool finish then devices one device is here let me wait a little bit sometimes it takes time or close Turn off the power and turn on back. Okay, online.
okay as you see it, all right now it is back cool it is working so basically this is what you need to do if you have any questions please let me know and if you need the file you can contact me too i will provide that coding too thank you so much have a nice day